everyone. Looks like we got a boneless pork shoulder, slow perfect, ready to cook, that we are going to throw in the crock pot today. We were able to stop at Walmart the other night and they had these. So we're gonna see how this works. So we're gonna throw it on in. Basically the instruction says just basically right on the back here. Let's see if I can see, we can see that. Um, doo -doo -doo, cooking instructions. Some of you all can read that, you probably can't read that, but it basically says empty the entire contents of the package into slow cooker, cook on low for eight to nine hours, or high for four to five hours. And if you guys have watched the other videos, the 12 volt Road Pro crock pot that we have is only one temperature, and we've distinguished that it's high. So it'll probably take about four to five hours, probably closer to six, well, just to make sure. So we'll see how that goes. We are at the two and a half hour mark with the roast and without even taking the cover off, Nick was like, ooh, it smells good. So let's take the cover off. Remember, I'm the one who decided to pick this thing up. <laughs> I, was, I do all the meat chopping, not you. Yes, Nick does do all the meat chopping and it's looking really good. We're actually going to flip it so it can be evenly cooked and you can't smell it, but ooh, it smells so good. So. It smells like barbecue pulled pork. Oh wait, that's the back set. <laughs> so. We are going you to. You can overcook it. It's not going to hurt to overcook it because it is a pulled pork. Yes. Yep. I believe that's what I was saying before. The longer, the better, too. So we're going to let it flip it and let it cook a few more hours, and we'll check it again. Well, everybody, it's been what, like six hours with our roast. I've flipped it a couple more times, stirred it up, made a little bit of a mess when we were driving, but it's all good. And that is what it looks like. Smells really good. Smells like barbecue pork. So what is that, Sam? That is the barbecue pulled pork and garlic mashed potatoes. It's like, it's pull apart like... Pull pork. Melt in your mouth. So what's it's the best part about though, but pulled pork? The eating part? No, the fat. Yeah, the <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that is dinner this evening. Yay, I can't wait to eat it. And then we got um, like a movie thing going on here. So yes. cheap series on TV, on DVD. So, yeah. all right.
We've got, we're starting out with the crock pot, of course. That's what I got here. And I put a squirt of strawberry jam or jelly or spread or whatever the heck they call it nowadays. Whatever we had. And some honey and a little bit of soy sauce. And I was heating that up a little bit to try to, you know, get it to combine together. So, and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so I got that all heated up and combined together. And this morning I had taken our couple cans of chicken and the can of green beans we wanted to use for tonight and threw them in a Tupperware and threw them in the coolie. So we got that that we're going to put in. And then we've got a can of broccoli cheese soup we're going to put in. We're going to season it up with some celery salt and some onion powder and some, woo, don't run away, garlic powder. <laughs> so get that all in there and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Everybody, we got everything combined up in the crock pot. We're just gonna slip it on in and let it cook for about an hour and a half or so, and then we'll probably serve it over some rice. So we'll see what happens. Holy baconators, eggs, and cheese! <laughs> That's dinner. What's dinner? It's it's what's finished. It's our. Um, we gotta start naming these. Uh, broccoli cheese stuff with stuff in it. Yeah. That's how it turned out. Smells really good, and then we got some rice here that will. So we're gonna take that big bowl of special. Kind of looks like goulash or some weird <laughs> that or vomit. I don't know. <laughs> it smells really good though. I think it's the green beans added a little bit more water, so I probably didn't have to add a little shot of water. I did, but it's still. Good. Okay, so we could have done this over noodles though too, right? Yes, we're gonna figure out how to do noodles in the truck. I think we have a way, but it's just time. Yeah. And then, um, uh, food vision. <laughs> you get to try first. I get to try first. Yeah, my 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 concoction suggestion. You I get to try. Your truck. My truck. Come on, bacon vision. I want your honest uh, honest opinion on it. Honest opinion. Yep. So we can find you here. Here we go. You just take a bite. That's really tasty. It's good. Alrighty. See, so you get to be the one on camera this time with the first bite. <laughs> Usually I'm the sucker, so. Right. You think it needs anything? Some little salt and pepper. Or a little soy? Well, haha, soy, yeah. I'll probably soy. go soy first. Soy but. sauce, yep. All right, yeah. say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. I'm Cheeto, and I approve of this message. Oh, come on! What the hell?